And the Prince of Wales is launching a major project today. He says he wants to end homelessness completely in six different places across the UK within the next five years. He was inspired, of course, by childhood visits to a Roth Sleepers charity with his mother, Diana. Prince William wants to prove that homelessness can be eradicated if the right planning and resources are in place. Our Royal Correspondent, Daniela Ralph, has more on this now. Last week in Windsor, meeting a few of those who will work with him on his Homewards project. Some are well-known faces whose life has been impacted by homelessness. What does home mean to you? Home is feeling safe and protected in my own bed. Home is a safe space where I get to rebuild myself. I don't believe it needs to be this way. And a short film has been released to mark the launch of this ambitious project for the Prince of Wales. He believes ending homelessness is realistic and vital. Over the next two days, he'll reveal and visit the six locations that his Homewards project is targeting across the UK. Six locations. The Prince's team has stressed this is an area where he's already shown his commitment. At the Passage, a homeless charity in London, he was put to work in the kitchen. This was familiar territory for him. He first came here with his mother as an 11-year-old and has been back publicly and privately several times since. On an engagement here seven years ago, he summed up why this cause meant so much. The visits I made as a child to this place left a deep and lasting impression upon me about how important it is to ensure that everyone in our society, especially the poorest, are treated with respect, dignity and kindness. What he saw and learnt at The Passage and other homeless charities is at the heart of the project he'll launch today. My experience of him personally is that this is an issue that he has been passionate about since the very first day that he came here as a young child. He totally understands, mainly because of the interactions he has with our clients. Nothing is ever sugar-coated at the passage. He hears it from the horse's mouth, and I know that he is totally passionate about ending homelessness. The passion may be there, the visits to homelessness projects numerous, but he comes at the subject from a place of immense privilege. It also touches on areas that some may see as political. Prince William's team is aware of that view, but stress that he has spoken to and has the support of senior politicians across many parties for his Homewards project. It is something that those working with him say he has put his heart and soul into, so that homelessness becomes rare, brief and unrepeated. Daniela Ralph, BBC News. Well, joining us now to discuss this is the Mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham. And in London, in a moment, we'll speak to Lord John Bird, who's the founder of The Big Issue. And uh, one of the big issue salesmen there who, who sold copies of the magazine with, with Prince William. Andy Burnham, if we start with you, um, how significant a commitment is this from the Prince of Wales, uh, eradicating homelessness, he says? I think it's hugely significant. I think it's a, a tremendous development, to be honest, that the Prince of Wales would show this leadership on this particular issue. I think it will give a real sense of hope to everybody who's working to support people who are homeless. They, they will feel seen today and that their work matters uh, because that, that uh, endorsement has come from the Prince. But also everybody who worries about homelessness, everybody at risk of homelessness, everybody who is homeless, I think, today will, will feel seen too. I think this is a really positive move by the Prince and the Royal Foundation. And in Greater Manchester, we're going to be supporting uh, the Royal Foundation with all of the work with the five nominated places. We're also joined this morning by Lord John Bird, founder of Big Issue, and Dave Martin, who sold copies of the magazine. Morning to you both. Um, morning, Dave. It's great to see you. You actually morning, morning. sold the magazine with the Prince of Wales. Just remind us what that was like and, and what did he say about the work he wanted to do? OK. Um, yeah, we went selling um, outside Sainsbury's, which is off Victoria Street. Um, it was asking me how it was selling Big Issue on the street and then we, we got on to me being homeless and it was asking me what it was like um, and then when I actually interviewed him for the magazine 
Um, he said he wanted to be hands-on, he wanted to make a difference, basically, in ending homelessness. We're seeing some pictures now, Dave, of uh, you and him together on the streets. Uh, when you were, when you were doing that selling, it must yes. have been quite a moment. And Lord John Bird, I know this. You've been campaigning for the profile of homelessness and charities uh, for so long. What what does this endorsement by the Prince of Wales mean to you today? Well, I think what it is is it's building on the work that uh, on the work of the uh, of the par of his parents. I mean, Prince Charles was involved in the early days of the big issue. Uh, Princess Diana was involved in homelessness and actually uh, always bought the copy of the big issue when she saw somebody from her car when she was passing. And I think what the Prince of Wales is doing is he's going up the next level. And what is doing, what I think is really interesting, is they're distinguishing the fact that there's the emergency of homelessness and then there's all the steady work that's got to be done in the background to prevent homelessness and also to cure it at the other end. Up till now, most of the effort has gone into the emergency of homelessness and we have to go into the prevention of homelessness. And Lord Bird, one of the things that we've seen that the Prince of Wales is talking about is resourcing. That he's saying that, you know, that there needs to be a level of resourcing to support people who might be on the brink. What does he mean by that? What, what needs to change? Well, you see, one of the biggest problems now, uh, biggest problems now, is that there is an increasing chance of more and more people who have no experience of homelessness falling into homelessness. I mean, I fell into homelessness because I was born in poverty and all that sort of stuff and no, no, born in the slums course. of London. But you've got people now who have no, good jobs, who have good stability, but because of the mortgage and the cost of living, they're people teetering on the edge. And we have to stop them from falling into homelessness. Unfortunately, there's too many people going around saying, let's look after them when they get uh, into homelessness. I say, let's prevent them. And this is exactly what the Prince of Wales is saying. Prevent people, provide for the opportunity of them get, so that they do not fall into the, into the treacle of homelessness. Andy Burnham, given those challenges, and we've been talking this morning about interest rates, even greater challenges for many households in, in the months and years ahead, yep. can homelessness be eradicated? Is this possible, what the Prince of Wales is suggesting? I think this is a, a fixable problem. I mean, Lord Bird is right. These days, we're all living more precarious lives. We're all just a few bits of bad luck away from being homeless or on the streets ourselves. So the, the, the pressure is, is huge. Um, I run a scheme called A Bed Every Night. Uh, we look after 550 people every night, and those numbers are growing. So we try and give people a place, a place to go. Uh, and, and what we've done in Greater Manchester is show that you can actually make a, an appreciable difference. We can offer something to everybody who is in need of help. However, it requires the whole place to collaborate, to sort of stand together and pull in the same direction. And that's what we've tried to do in Greater Manchester. And what change have you noticed? You say you've noticed a change. It's clearly getting worse. In our case, uh, Sally, we've kind of uh, made a big difference to the numbers of people sleeping rough. So there were about 300 people sleeping rough in Greater Manchester about six years ago. It's down to 72 on the last count. Now, there's still people there but all of those 72 can be offered something. They can be given a place to go. So it's hard, but you've got to stick at it. You've got to work at it. And when we say a bed every night, what we do is we give people the same bed every night. So once they go into a place, they can stay in the same place. And that is so critically important. Uh, I think the Prince has learned from Finland. That's what they do there because they give people that space to recover, that time to recover. If you're in one place one night and in another place another night, it really isn't going to work. So we feel we've got something to, to share uh, and we think this is absolutely the right commitment from the Prince of Wales at the right time. Dave, let me ask you, you've spent time with the Prince of Wales. Um, you know his, his feelings on this matter. How deeply does he feel it? How genuine is, is, is this from him? Um, 
Well, he's, he's genuine for the fact that he was, he was concerned when I told him about being on the street and asking me how it was, how people treated you. And um, when I say when I interviewed him, he, 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 he wanted to be hands-on, he really wanted to do something. And I was quite surprised how quick um, he's got this off, off, off on the go, you know, uh, the Homeward uh, Initiative. But I knew, I knew he was true to his word, I knew he was a genuine person when I met him on the street. So John Bird, I, yeah. John Bird, I imagine this is the sort of support that is wonderful for you to receive. It's incredible. Um, I think also it's timely because the thing is we have to do something about homelessness because uh, it, it and the problems of poverty take up 40% of government spending uh, and we really do need to address this problem and the, and, and the prince coming along is actually kicking us all into play in a way that so that we can all come together because it's unity it's the convergence of our energies that will get rid of this problem and Andy Burnham it, it, it's one thing helping people get off the streets but then it's the other thing is providing the resources for mental health support drugs rehabilitation Absolutely. health services it's yeah. it's complicated it's very complicated it's got to be a whole place approach so in our case the NHS does contribute to a bed every night. You've got to get everybody pulling together, everybody working together. But you've got to also look at the other bigger issues as well, building uh, social housing. You've got to uh, look at how we improve standards in private rented accommodation. And we'll be uh, launching a Greater Manchester Good Landlord Charter tomorrow because we want to see housing standards improve. In the end, I think the country should, should do what Finland has done, commit to housing being a right. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.